My name is Lee. I grew up in Stratford in East London and I've been in the RAF for five years. I'm part of the RAF Regiment, which is the Royal Air Force's force protection element. I joined the RAF Regiment for the challenge. I really wanted to test myself physically and mentally. It's a very physical role um, and to be able to do that as a job, it was perfect for me. Although you pick a role or a career within the RAF, within that you can go into lots of different directions and lots of different opportunities. It also provides the ability to specialise, which I found really interesting. We, we, have, we have snipers, we have teachers, we have drivers, we have mortarmen. There's a real opportunity to pick a specialism if something interests you and go down that route. It's quite common within your role to change job every three to five years. So it means there's a lot of variety, you don't get stale in the job and there's lots of new challenges that you can always face, find out and face. Life in the RAF can vary massively depending on who you are and what you want to get out of it. If you want to challenge yourself and find those jobs that are really going to challenge you, you can. It's also a, a solid career. Um, you, you sign up for a 12 year period, but some people do four years and they decide that's them and they take it as almost like a university replacement and they use that as personal development before they go and pursue another job. Some people stay in for 12, some people stay in for 22 years and do a whole career and retire with a pension. One of the great things is being part of something that's bigger. Um, the RAF and the RAF Regiment are both larger communities that you're part of the second you start in the RAF. Um, it's a great feeling and it's cliche, but you really do make friends that will last your whole career and I assume your whole life. My advice to someone thinking about applying would be do your research, look into the different roles that are available to you and see what would really suit you. You go in knowing what's going to be expected of you, one in the selection process, two in your training and three in your career once you're actually in the Air Force. My other bit of advice would be that selection can take quite a long time. It can be up to six months, sometimes longer. So if you're, if you're thinking about it, I say apply earlier rather than later. That way you stand a better opportunity of getting that process arranged around your life and be able to join at a time that suits you rather than killing time down the line. Also train, you don't have to be a super athlete to uh, join any part of the RAF, even the regiment where the physical aspect is a lot higher, but what you do need to do is be physically fit. And the easiest way to do that is look at what's gonna be expected of you, both in training and in selection, and just get out and make sure you're active. If you're looking for more information, you don't know who to ask, we've got loads of information on our social media, on our recruitment website, and on our main website. If you wanna find out more, we're running an Access All Areas event all through November. Um, if you just search RAF Access All Areas, you can come and talk to recruiters and see more information about the roles available to you.